Did a little bit of terminology. No, sequence. Sequence. So don't worry about writing this whole sentence down up here. Get this picture down and you'll be all good. A geometric, in a geometric sequence, the ratio between consecutive terms is the same. So that common ratio, we're always multiplying by five, we're always multiplying by one half, we're constantly multiplying by the same thing. This ratio is called a common ratio. Wow, that's really annoying. Um, each term is multiplying the previous term by the common ratio. So the key thing is, even if we have a fraction involved, and you can say, oh, they're dividing by three every time. We don't want to say that, they're, that we're dividing by three. Like we've talked about, we want to say that we are multiplying by one third. So we don't want to talk about things in terms of division. We want to talk about all of them in terms of multiplication. Now we good? You guys good? I need another second. I'll take that with you. So just like, well, I guess we did arithmetic sequences in the warm up, but very similar to the warm up. Write the next three terms of the geometric sequence. So we're multiplying 3, 6, 12, 24. Um, one thing to point out here at this picture before I do that. On the top, we would typically see our x's and on the bottom, would be our y's. The position I mean, would be the same idea as our x's. So if we were graphing, if they ask us to graph this, which they would do once in a while, which we might do in the next one, um, our position would be our x's and our term would be our y's. So if we're finishing this table to write the next three terms, we can see here we're multiplying by 2 times 2 times 2. So that means we're going to continue to multiply by 2. We get 48, 96, and then 192 to continue to multiply by 2. So that's like already what we've been doing, right? We've been finishing tables or identifying the pattern. Now we're just calling it a geometric sequence instead of calling it exponential growth or exponential These slides are also on Canvas if you want to pull those up on your iPad so you don't have to go the application screen. Oh, time. Just like I said, we might need to graph these. So if we just look at, even if we don't find the next couple terms, so 32 is our first term, second, third, Bit, that gives us the points 1, 32, 2, 16, 3, 8, 4, 4, 1, 5, 2. If we were to quick try to just get the graph. 132 would be like way up here. What does it look like? Who said that? Exponential decay. Nice. So our geometric sequences, we're just dealing with exponential decay or exponential growth, but we're just calling it a geometric sequence. No big deal. Nothing new today.
So those are two types of questions that you might see when we're going through. So for an arithmetic sequence, we want to write, remember we've used the vocabulary to find the nth term. If we want to find the nth term of an arithmetic sequence, we learned in the last chapter, we're going right here. For a geometric sequence, we are using right here what is on the board. What does this kind of look like? Yeah. Uh, it looks like something we've seen before. This would be like a geometric function. Well, this would be for a geometric sequence, yeah, but what does it look like when we have a term, another value, and it's to a power? Have we seen that before? What? There are exponents. Come on, think. What does it look like? It looks like our exponential equation from like la from like early last week, where we had our. Remember, this was our y-intercept. This r would have been our common difference, our common ratio. It's the same idea, just we're putting different letters there. So instead of y-intercept, we call it our a sub one our first term. Are we seeing the similarities? We should be making major connections inside our brain right now. Our brain is all kind of? So again, a sub 1, this is our first term. R was the holy cow. Wow. R. Oh, oh. <laughs> would be our common <laughs> ratio. <laughs> so that's it. We just need to be able to write equations in this. We need to be able to find our first term and our common ratio. Oh, no, not even another example. You just get to dive right into practice. Oh, no. And then the worksheet. Wow. We're five. I told you, this lesson could be a five minute one. Yeah, I know. It's been seven minutes and 45 seconds. It's pretty good, though. Hey, that means the hamburgers. No. Wow. That's tough. Are we good? Good? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't show you an example of number two, but I'm trusting you guys will be able to nail it. Find the nth term. That means we're using that equation. Using the equation. Uh, absolutely. That's really going to help. That, that might help you find the common difference. Show these to me. Then. You'll earn the worksheet.